Hello, it is Beb Sunshine. I hope you create a new video today for the channel's birthday. Yes, it's been a year now. And also to answer the, a part of the questions you have, you've asked me. Uh, so let's begin. My surname is Babs and my name, my first name is Bebe. I studied uh, modern languages in English and Chinese, Mandarin especially. Uh, I, uh, I am bilingual in English and French and I have some notions of German and Chinese because that it was the languages I was studying in high school. Okay, no, I don't think it's an ultimate goal. I know it's presented like that because when you see some proposal, you see the girl, uh, the girl is not looking at the man, she's looking at the ring, is screaming at the ring. So you understand that she, uh, she so marriage the wedding as a goal. But no, I think it is the first step for a couple who wants to live together forever actually so no it's the first thing to the first step to a new direction a new travel for a new couple not at the beginning because i know you know i have been born i was born with my albinism so it was part of me but when i grew up it's the the time that i saw that yes it is part of my beauty and it helped me grow my character because I'm a unique of a kind of person wherever I go. I mean, if, even if there is another people with albinism like me, we always stay unique. So. so First of all, no, I don't think that you can, can learn to a child to accept the insisting looks of others. I think that it is your duty as a parent to set boundaries because there is the normal acceptable look, like somebody who is looking at your child for five seconds because he's kind of curious and wondering why your child is white and you are black for instance but I think it's your way your role to set boundaries and see and put a stop put an end of the insisting and bothering looks of some people forget that the, a child is just a child whether he has albini he or she has albinism or not so no set the right boundaries so you can learn that to your child so your child will do the same well it will grow up uh, second of all, he or she is like he or she is, so you have to raise your kid to accept himself or herself so he or she doesn't look for approval from another source. I think that it is your duty as a parent, especially for a child, because if the child has no role model like him around, he may try to fit in or to look like people who do not look like him, so yeah. Giving the right tool to have a good self-esteem. And third of all, I don't think that you have to explain to people why your child is different from you. I mean, in the street, no, it does. It is not people's business, but it's cool, for instance, yes. Uh, it is better for you to explain because, yes, it is better for the, for the teacher, for instance, to know that you are your child's parent. So no, it depends on the circumstances. In the street, no, but in some cases, like social cases, like, okay, you get to give the papers, or maybe school, yes. So, voila. And this was my answers to the first part of the questions I have received, and next part, second part, will be next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.